Now I know, when you think about chocolate cocktails, this is what you kind of have in mind. The big, sort of luxurious, bold, leery garnish with brownie and chocolate sauce. Dessert cocktails are where it's at in your head. I know they are. So coming up in this video, I'm gonna take five dessert cocktails that I've served over the years in my pubs and bars uh, that have guaranteed what I call cash converters that will put money in your till. But garnishing them is completely up to you. I'm gonna go a bit leery on some of them, a bit like this one. But, you know, it's all about you to make statement pieces in your own venues. Because once one of these goes through the pub, the bar, you know, through the floor, people, it's a head turner. Once people start seeing this, ooh, what's that? I want one of those. Cocktail one, death by chocolate. It's the cocktail that just gets garnished extravagantly with like cream and brownies and whatever chocolate sauce. But there is no, I've seen lots of different recipes for this. You do you, as I always say, but this is kind of how I've served it up in the past. All right, I might be using a different chocolate uh, syrup today, but I'm showcasing them all from morning. So uh, we're going for 25 mil of vanilla vodka to start off with into your shaking cocktail, this one. So 25 ml of vanilla vodka. We're then going for some amaretto. I've even seen this um, served up with a coffee liqueur as well. Again, you know, like Tia Maria, Kahlua, something like that. It's up to you, completely up to you. Uh, 25 ml of amaretto di Sorono. Yeah. This uh, William Fox's chocolate syrup. This, this gives me dairy milk vibes. This, uh, you know, all these chocolate syrups we do, they're all, kind of slightly different. I don't, you know, while you would buy them for a chocolate syrup, they've all got very different taste profiles to them. But anyway, uh, William Fox's, this is the colour of this one. So 20 mil of that. As I say, it's, it's just dairy milk. It's one of my favourite chocolate bars. Love for dairy milk. Uh, and then, well, just to finish off, I'm going for 50 mil of, uh, this is just single cream. So five zero of single cream in there. Just going to give that a good shake. Right, and then to serve up, Big, tall glass, traditionally kind of a hurricane glass. I'm going for some chocolate sauce, but I'm going for chocolate and hazelnut sauce because I'm going for the brownie as well, and the brownie kind of fits in this. So just a nice, good sort of swirl in the inside of your glass, kind of decorate all that up there. Loads of chocolate. And then you can pour out using fresh ice, but I'm just going to do the, the shake and dump in here. Leave a bit of room, hopefully, yes. Bang on the money, look at that already. You can, you know, I'm showcasing this for the chocolate syrups. You can use chocolate liqueurs in here if you want to bump up the alcohol. There's no right or wrong with that. It's just that we sell all the syrups. We don't sell alcohol. So, uh, squirty cream. Look at this. Then, of course, some brownie chunks to go on there as well. Loads of little brownie chunks. Bit of, a, bit of chocolate sprinkles just to kind of go on there as well. Yes. And then... And then we're gonna finish up with some more chocolate sauce on top, ain't we? Chocolate and hazelnut sauce. So there we go. That is my death by chocolate. Well, that's delicious. All of my calorie intake, my weekly calorie intake in one cocktail, but who cares? Chocolate cocktail is all about fun. The amaretto works really well with the chocolate. Of course it does. The vanilla vodka, it's just, it's just great fun. Now, cocktail two has been a big servant to me over the years, the lemon tart martini. Again, multiple different ways you can serve this. And I'll be honest, this is one of the primary reasons why I have products like this uh, super sound. Now, drink stuff, don't sell this, but I highly uh, kind of advocate for things like this because this will give you your citrus in creamy cocktails without curdling, like lemon juice, you know, sometimes you can sort of curdle and separate and all that. This super sour is just distilled citrus and I'm a big, big fan of this in those, in these sort of creamy cocktails. I traditionally go for white rum in this and unaged rum. But again, you know, this, you could do vodka in this, you could do, you know, it, it's purely inspiration, but my, you know, my go-to for this lovely sort of vanilla -y kind of um, rum, plain rum. Don't mean vanilla flavoured rum, although that could be a good shout, but I, I mean like a vanilla forward white rum. So plantation three stars. Um, let's just go UK, 50 mil double bubble in there. Uh, go for, let's go for this stuff. Let's give you a close up on that. Now you don't need much of this stuff and it has got this sort of little salty uh, kind of edge to it as well, but primary sort of citrus. I go 10 mil. 
Uh, but play about. I think 10 mil is perfect in here. Uh, but there, so just 10 mil of the super sour. There we go, a little close up there for you, just in case you didn't get it. Right, then we're going for the morning white chocolate syrup in this. 20 mil of this in there. There we go. And then simply, we're just going to finish off with cream. The white sauce, the white chocolate is there for, um, for garnish in a second. So I'm just going to do 50 mil of cream again. Right, after a good shake, we're just going to take a coop. We are going to decorate the inside of a glass. So this is, uh, let's give you a little close up on that. It's the ODK white chocolate syrup. So just going, just going for this. Hang on, there we go. Just going to kind of decorate the inside of the glass on that. Lovely, beautiful. Then I am going to um, sit, uh, double strain this. There we go. Lovely. Give that a couple of little taps. A little bit left in there. And then just to garnish, because the lemon tart, I kind of associate if, if this was a dessert, I'd have a lighter biscuity base. Just got like a lotus biscoffee biscuit. Just kind of crush it up and then just sprinkle some of that over there. Lovely. That is delicious. Vibrant lemon. Vibrant white chocolate. That little sort of biscuity crunch on top. That is everything you want a kind of like a lemon tart to be. It's almost that, the and the super sour almost brings that sort of lemon curd vibe to the cocktail. Really tasty. Cocktail three, coffee, caramel, brownie. One of the ultimate dessert cocktails. Love this. Uh, you don't need espresso in this. This is a coffee liqueur. Uh, job, but dark rum. I kind of swear by dark rum in this. So just want you want a lovely, luxurious dark rum. It just works really, really well in this. So we're going Barcello here. Uh, Thirty, uh, sorry, twenty-five mil of that. Up it if you want. Thirty mil. Just play about. I do equal measures of this. Decent coffee liqueur. I don't think I don't use Kahlua in stuff like this because I have got the sweetness there. This is an unsweetened coffee liqueur, and I think that's the way to go in this sort of stuff. So, uh, 25 mil of Mr. Black. This is also healthy ABV as well. It's not like a liqueur, like really low liqueur strength like uh, Kahlua. This is 20. Where are we? 23. So it's kind of got healthy sort of coffee. Um, sort of alcoholic kick to it. Uh, and then we're going for chocolate sauce. So this is split based chocolate sauce. We've got two here. Uh, so we're going 10 mil of Monin normal chocolate in there. And then we're gonna match that with 10 mil of the Monin uh, cookie dough or chocolate. I've got to stop calling it cookie dough. Chocolate cookie, chocolate cookie uh, syrup. So 10 mil of that, lovely. And then you don't want too much cream in here. You just need enough cream. Uh, so I, I go, I match the booze in there, one, or one of the shots. So 25 mil essentially of uh, booze, that's what, of cream, that's what I'm gonna do. Right, and then it's just a quick shake. Right, and then we need to do the glass as well. This is where the caramel sauce comes out. This is ODK's caramel sauce. This is nice and runny, this stuff. So just gonna do the inside of the glass there. Look at that, lovely. Nice bit of caramel. And then, you know, you can strain over fresh ice again if you want to, but I think this is just, this should be perfect. Uh, slightly larger rocks glass. There we go. And then it'd be rude not to serve this up with a little brownie on the side. So there we go. Coffee caramel brownie. These just get better and better. God, I'm not gonna eat for a week after this, but the coffee, the Mr. Blank, really works well in there, kind of really vibes. It does, it is ultimately that brownie sort of taste that you get when you eat one of those. It's, that's what you get from the cocktail. Proper delicious, that proper fun. Right, cocktail four, chocolate nutty banana rama. Again, this one goes down an absolute storm. It's great if you can garnish this up with fresh banana as well. You can go caramel sauce. I'm going to garnish it up slightly differently. Uh, and also, traditionally, I would use frangelico or a hazelnut um, liqueur in this, but I haven't got any here, so I'm going amaretto. But I think hazelnut, I've, I've never done it with amaretto, I'll be honest, but I think hazelnut, for me, kind of gives this, this just works with um, banana. I know amaretto's going to as well, so uh, let's dive in, let's make it. So plain vodka, 
uh, for this one. Again, absolutely up to you. Vanilla vodka. Rum, rum, rum. Go rum. But whatever, whatever. Uh, so we're going 25 mil of just your normal sort of vodka, your pouring vodka, whatever you use. Uh, banana liqueur. This is the Monin one. Really good as well. I, I use uh, Giffard de Banana de Brazil at home, but the Monin one is great as well. 15 mil of banana liqueur in there. Let's go 15 mil of the Disarono, the Amaretto. Right, so 15 mil of that. So you've got your banana and your kind of nut vibes in there. The uh, the chocolate syrup. Oh, I ain't got my chocolate, have I? Schoolboy error. White chocolate. There we go. Uh, I think this is a white chocolate one. It kind of works well. White chocolate and banana. I kind of like that. Uh, but I'm going 20 mil. 20 mil of the white chocolate syrup. There, lovely. And then we're just going to finish that off with cream. Uh, and about 50 mil. 50 mil of... Just, I've got single cream here, half and half, whatever. But uh, 50 mil of cream. And then it's just a good shake. Uh, and then just to kind of decorate the glass. Now I'm gonna do white chocolate sauce in this glass. So just gonna pour that around the inner side of the glass there. Whatever highball, hurricane glass, whatever you got, there we go. That's lovely, beautiful. I've even talked myself into the caribou sauce that's just sitting there. Uh, shake and dump, you know, just pour that in. That should be big enough for your highball glass. And then squirty cream has to come out for this one. So another bit of squirty cream on top there. As I say, that would be absolutely perfect for a couple of bits of banana as well. I've just got some caramel sauce. So I'm going for some caramel sauce on top of there because caramel and banana works really well. Look at that. And then, because it's fun, what you do for like banana splits and all that sort of stuff, I've got uh, sort of like, what they call rainbow, rainbow magic, kind of. There we go, look at that. <laughs> That's exactly what it says on the tin. Nutty, banana, <laughs> banana garnish on top there would have been cool. But that was just fun, isn't it? You, know, you get the alcoholic kick, obviously. Uh, rum would have been great in there as well, but you know, it's, it's banana, it's banana and white chocolate and with a bit of nut and that's just lovely. Now it was a sad day for me last year or maybe the year before when I found out that Monin had delisted this, the Black Forest Syrup. It was one of my favourite syrups by a long, long while. I love it. You can rec uh, recreate it quite easily. I'll be honest, I've had a but a bit of a, an admin fail because I was absolutely convinced uh, I was going to do ODK through and through for this one. I was absolutely convinced I had the ODK uh, cherry syrup here and I was going to kind of do the cherry syrup inside of there or the puree, I should say, in there. Believe it or not, I've got no cherry syrups here in the studio. Not Modern, not William Fox, not ODK, nothing. So uh, I have actually got cherry brandy, so that's going to do. And I've, I brought in a cherry spiced rum, so that's how I was going to make that. So I would naturally go a uh, cherry puree or a cherry syrup in here, but we've got an alternative way straight away. And that's what I'm all about in it, giving you inspiration. So uh, let's give you a close up on that while I... Uh, um, Get the jigger. This is uh, the cherry, it is a cherry spiced rum, but it's the bomb. It's the 57% ABV stuff. Uh, so it's a little bit stronger than your normal sort of 40%. And this is lovely. This just tastes like bakewell, you know, cherry and almonds. Absolutely delicious. So going 25 mil of that. If you want to up that slightly, in fact, let's do, let's do another five mil. Let's do 30 mil. There we go. 30 mil of cherry spiced rum. Delicious. Uh, I'm going to amp that with a bit of cherry. Uh, cherry liqueur, cherry brandy from Moni. Going 15 mil of this. Here we go. This this is actually quite luscious, to be fair. So we will get nice, nice, healthy cherry vibes on this. It's just a different way to what I thought I was going to make it. Uh, so then we go in ODK uh, chocolate uh, syrup. So I'm going uh, 20, 20 mil of this. Here we go. Perfect, really vibrant chocolate stuff. Uh, and then it's just a uh, cream, and I'm going to do 50 mil. 50 ml of single cream or half and half, whatever you've got. And then of course, it's just a quick shake. Cool, right, nice and cold. Then in the absence of cherry puree, cherry sauce, I'm gonna do just chocolate sauce, but we've got to do this, haven't we? So chocolate sauce around the inside of your, uh, well this is going mason glass this time, but whatever glass you're kind of using. 
So plenty of chocolate sauce in there. And then we're just gonna do a good old shake and dump. That should be perfect. Yes, that has left me enough room because you know what the garnish is for this on top, don't you? Of course you have, of course you do. So squirty cream on top of there. And I could have used this for cherry syrup, but obviously it's a little bit, it's a little bit runnier, the, the sort of maraschino juice in here. But we're just gonna kind of do a cherry on top, but then allow a little bit of that sauce just to drizzle over the top there, look at that. And then just garnish with that cherry. Actually, that's really cherry forward. The cherry brandy does come through there really, really well. You've obviously got the cherry, you could get that sort of faint hint of almond from the, uh, from the cherry spiced rum. But Black Forest, Black Forest Sunday, Black Forest Gatto, whatever you want to call that, absolutely delicious. So all that's left for you to do now is dive into the comments below. Let me know your favorite out of these. And if you've got any chocolate uh, dessert cocktails, again, put your recipes in the comments below. Build a database for the people watching this in the months to come. Let's get some chocolate co cocktails rocking out. Right, that's it for me. Let's film the next one. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you do that on the way out.